something. Who who was hanging out? Metzger, Nate Bargatze, Soder, right? Soder wasn't there yet. Soder wasn't there. Soder yet. came a couple years later. Vitor? No, Vitor wasn't there yet. No, this Pete Holmes. Uh, I remember the first time I hung out with Big J. It was Pete Holmes, uh, Metzger, Jamie Kilstein. It, it's like this. It was just a weird crew, and um, yeah, dude, that was so fucking funny. Yeah, Metzger's always been Metzger. We go to see Star Wars, like the first, the last Star Wars that came out or whatever right. back then. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the night, we go to take a uh, cab home. And it's me and Metzger. There's no Ubers. This is back then when you had to get a yellow cab. We're like deep in fucking Queens. And we got to get to Brooklyn. And I remember uh, we get into a car. And the car doesn't want to drive us to Brooklyn. I so, love that. They're just like, no, no, no. No, no, no. So we're like, no, well, we're sitting in the car. It's like, two, we're two big dudes. So we're like, well, you're going to drive us to Brooklyn. Or we'll fucking, you know, we sort of just implied that we're going to beat you up and take your cab. <laughs> like, So then the guy's going. And he's supposed to make a turn. And he he doesn't make the turn. He just keeps driving. It's like a fucking Indian dude. And we're like, hey, that's our turn. And he just doesn't say anything. Like, eerily, just not saying anything. And we're like, hey, that's our turn. At this point, we're just acting tough, but we're sort of getting nervous. Because he's, <laughs> he's like, got all the control of the maybe going to murder locked. us. I have no idea. Like, he just isn't saying shit. So we're like, what's going on? Stop the car. Stop the car. We're both screaming, stop the car. So at one point, he stops the car. And uh, Metzger's like, I got the door open because Metzger's trying to get his number. He's like, I'm going to report you, this or the other. And we had gone to 7-Eleven. We have Slurpees. And uh, the guy had his window open maybe this much. And uh, right when we're about to leave, Metzger goes, yeah, motherfucker. And he takes a Slurpee and throws it at his window. Oh, no. But it hits the window, bounces off the window, opens, and ricochets back onto Metzger's chest <laughs> and just <laughs> covers <laughs> him in pink and blue Slurpee. <laughs> the guy just goes, ha, ah, ah, ha, <laughs> takes off. We're in the middle of the rain, <laughs> stranded on a highway, and Metzger's covered in Slurpee. It was excellent. That he deserves. He deserves it. That was great. Uh, it was excellent. <laughs> so, yeah, so then I, I, I was producing shows, and I met all these guys, uh, and, and then I, I sort of got the bug. I wanted to start doing comedy myself. But you would hang out a lot first. Yeah. What? And then you're like, I want to try this. Yeah. Is that I, when I, I met you? You'd already tried it, or no? I had already, still- already started doing it, because by the time you met me, I was in Santa New York. Mm-hmm. I started a weekly show, or I was six shows a week. It was yeah, Thursday you had at show, Dylan's, your own show. at Dylan's Lounge on Fifty Fourth Street, right across Greenberg's. from Studio Fifty Four. Yeah, it was Greenberg's, <laughs> <laughs> and I did six shows per week. And I prided myself. I was like, I want to just. I was like, I, I paid five dollars more than the clubs were paying, and it was it was just dumb. It, it didn't mean anything, but it meant so much. Like the comics were like, oh fucking, Lewis gets it. You know, so instead of paying, you no, know, I paid 60 instead of 50 because it was 50 was the standard in the weekends per spot. And the weekdays, it was uh, 20 and I paid 25. And that that resonated really well with a lot of comics who that, that's honestly, I think that's one of the reasons why I ended up meeting and becoming friends with so many comics, because that gesture just meant so much. Everyone was fighting for like just anything. Yeah. 